Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we are here with my new uh, Dreambox 2, and it is in place. I'm not going to open it all up yet because I have things going on in there, and I'm not really sure if I'm leaving it that way or not. Hang on, i got to turn on the light. There we go. So you can see what I am up to. I am up to ribbons, laces, and fabrics. So that's what's going in most of this. this there's some papers in here. Oh, that one's fat quarters, but there's papers in here. Um, yeah, so... I have a lot of lace and ribbon and I love it and um, I'm going to be moving some shelves around so I can get all the lace up on this side here um, but here is my desk it's a mess because it's the catch-all right now for keep toss or give and so here is a stack of napkins I don't know why I have like 10 of each so I'm going to get rid of some of those um, I did leave those in. Originally, I was taking those boxes out down there, those three stacks. But I decided to leave them because I love it when I have quick items I can grab and use in a journal. And those are all quick little items that I can use to make clusters and, and um, journaling cards and things like that. So I've left that. Um, I did get to keep my box back here, and I'm glad it fits perfectly back there. When you open the door, it doesn't touch it at all. Um, so I'm glad that that's there. It keeps a place for my washi tape and my, my threads and needles and um, just crafts that I don't use all the time. So... Um, this is coming together over here. I decided, since I was taking out most of my square shelves, that I would go ahead and use these drawers for my stamps. Um, they're not in any order yet. Uh, they will be. But um, right now, it makes it easy for me to look at them and find what I'm looking for. Um... What else? So I kind of I do love that. I still have all of these die cuts to put in my books up here. And if I have a stamp and die set, then they go into a certain book too. So that'll be good. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, I've got my paper boxes in. This is them. I have one more to put in. But see, I, it, I have an odd number because I had them stacked higher, you know, three high. But I, I want a flat spot that I can use for my stereo, my music. So that's going to go up there. That's going to be my catch-all for things that are not finished and need to be, or things that are um, need to be put away somewhere. So like these are some stamps that I got from uh, my creative... Time is that what it's called? I, I don't remember right now. Sorry. Um, anyway, I've got some new stamps and dies in there. Um, that's just for odd papers and some envelopes. Um, odd papers, I mean things that have something in them that I might want to use in a journal, like this book here, the creativity notebook. There might be something I want to take from there and put into a journal and just, you know, just have it that way. And then it's papers that are, I don't know where that was. I have to look. Oh, right there, I bet. So um, notebook papers, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, grid papers, just different ones I might want to use in a journal. And my art cart, here's the problem. My dog discovered that she can pull things off the bottom shelf. 
So I have to fix that. Um, and then over here, I decided to go ahead and put in these boxes right under the desk here and keep those because they all fit there neatly. Um, in this one, I have, sorry about my finger. In this one, I have all my um, pretty linens and stuff. And I'll show you more of this stuff later, but that's what this, this one is. And then I have my, um, sorry, my um, coffee dyed papers and all my scraps. One of them's all scraps and old papers down there. And then scraps and um, coffee dyed papers. And that uh, straw paper, things like that. And then over here is my paint. So this gives me a, a complete set that I just have to grab from and then take it to my desk. I think it'll work out fine. Um, I think I think that's probably what I need to do and then I need to put things away when I'm done. So this is where I'm at. I have lots to, to get put away. I have lots to take out. Um, more ribbons over there to go through. And so right now this is the room and this is the dream box too that I'm going to show you for right now because I don't want to show you everything. You can see I have empty spots down there. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. And so that's what I've been up to. And I am so sorry. I have not been dragging you along with me. But I was so excited about having it in place that I just started working on it. And I've been working solid on it for uh, several days um, since it was built. I started that evening. And then I have worked nearly nonstop. <laughs> except for when I went to bed at night. But... Um, I have been working on plowing through all of my, um, all my supplies. And here's what I, I've come to realize is you don't need all your supplies. I mean, all the papers and all the ribbons and stuff. I love ribbons. And so I collect it. So to me, I feel like I need it and same way with paper, but I love to collect the 12 by 12 paper, but I'm getting rid of a lot of it. Um, something new will come out and I'll fall in love with it too and I just can't collect it all and so I've realized that well here's the one thing I realized and this might be helpful to some people who um, feel like they're hoarding and you know or just collecting um, what I have discovered in myself is that I was buying because I couldn't get my room clean. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. And I knew I needed cabinetry. And my husband and I discussed it many, many times. But, you know, it was never really um, understood um, that a woman's or a person's craft room needs to be organized because otherwise you've got chaos and I was in chaos not only in my room but I was in chaos in my brain and it was I could do no more in here I was not feeling creative I was quickly losing my mojo I was pushing through every day with my videos but I'll tell you what I was ready to just give it all up and empty the room and sell all my supplies and just be done with it. And it was because I was in total chaos. And I was I was still buying things like um, I love to buy ephemera and papers and stuff like that. Well, I've combined them all into drawers. So I have mixed with mixed, except for my Artie Maze is in its own container and my Celeste at Woodland Inspired is in its own box. 
but um, the rest is really all combined. Uh, I've kept separate my um, digital creators, of course. But anyway, just know you don't need to keep buying. What you need to do is start in one little area. And if it means purchasing a cabinet that will work for you, then that's what you need to do. Um, you need to find your means to do that and discuss it with your family and see what can happen for you. Because I started out over here with my nephews building this for me. And I really thought that would be enough. I thought that would solve all my problems, but it didn't. Um, it is solving it now because now I have a place for my stamps. I have a place for my inks. I have a place for my um, my die cutting machine. I love. I have my paint brushes back out. I love that. And I have um, organizational ideas happening that are working for me. And I love that. Um, the next thing that is coming in this room, though, are some shelves. And they're either going to go up there or they're going to come down that whole wall over there to the floor. Um, and then that would push this desk out 13 inches, um, which is fine with me. Um, you know, it's, it's just, there's going to be some crowded areas in here. I can still get through that area without a squeeze. So that is okay for me. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's not always easy because I, you know, I'm not squeezing through everywhere anymore in this room. And so that makes me feel a lot better. So, and I do have these drawers and in them, Oh, ink. So I can come over here and do my inking and stamping. And I have everything right here. And I love it. So, yep. So I'm going to let you go for today. And we are going to, um, not we, me, is going, and my dog, of course. And then the cat comes in and gives a big cat scan. And he's okay with it so far he's a little miffed that he can't eat plastic anymore too bad kitty um so anyway i'm going to keep organizing today and tomorrow and the next day and by golly i hope to be done by sunday so i can get back to videos monday through friday and be back with all of you in a clean room without the chaotic mess in my head and I will talk to you all later. Give this video a thumbs up, please. And it really helps me. And become a subscriber if you're not. I'd really love to have you along. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if there's any birthdays out there, happy birthday. I know somebody who has a birthday, and that's Gail Augustinelli today. Hop on over and say, happy birthday, Gail. So this is Friday, so you know it's her birthday today. Alrighty, see you all later.